I started preparing uh, properly post internship. Internship. So for me, I spent almost uh, ten hours. Uh, yeah, eight to twelve hours, depending on the days. And uh, towards the end, probably ten to twelve, ten to twelve. Minimum of eight to nine, seven months of preparation. Preparation is required because initially four, five, four, five months, you will study the whole part, and last at least two months is required for revision. Huh? What you have studied in last five, six months. Hours daily, eight to ten hours minimum. It's depend upon your capacity. For me, it was from the beginning of April till November when I gave all the exams. Uh, post internship, since you are not working or anything, so twelve uh, to fourteen hours initially, sh you should aim for. Uh, but as in, as the exams come nearer, you can even go up to sixteen. Serious preparation when you are not working, not doing anything else. Only preparation eight months. Maybe around uh, five to six months should be adequate for uh, anybody who's just you know beyond internship. I tip, again, it is personal uh, preference. Many people who are uh, who can even prepare within ten hours and answer very well, and there are people who even study for fourteen to sixteen hours a day. But personally, I would like to recommend twelve to fourteen hours a day is recommended time which a person should spend reading and revising his subjects. And that depends upon individuals. It's uh, not how much hour you study is how much uh, you focus on. That's more of a personal thing that you have to decide how much time you can put in actually, because my my studies was during uh, my internship and I did not get more than a couple of maybe three hours a day. But all that matters is that you need to. Put in that three hours in the in the most efficient way possible. That, no, actually, you can never study when you're too sleepy or something. You can't. There's no point uh, making sure you study something when you're post duty or something like that. Whenever you're free, there are there's so much of free time during internship that you just sit through and uh, not do anything about it. And uh, there's no particular spot that you have to sit and study. You can just learn from patients in the ward. You can just find out if there's some patient with a particular disease in the ward. You can 